You usually get like blown up by us, dude, the second you load the section in. Fuck you ran over another one! This this pilot right here. Yeah, man. Two team kills now. He, you take his helmet off, and it's like a, a tiny brood there. <laughs> like a really thin brood. Yeah, maybe like a child. Prepubescent brood. We've never talked about it, but the jackals, they look like an undeveloped chicken. They're birds. Yes, so these are definitely eatable. And probably, you know, it's a cliche to like, oh, you know, you eat some alien shit and like, tastes like chicken. This is probably actually tastes like chicken. Y you cut his head off, he's still running. Then you catch him, headless, and you can like, I don't know, cook him. And it's a lot. I remember there was an article. There was a statistics that like in New York City, people eat like this many thousands of chicken. And that's so much. That's horrible. And then someone calculated that chicken has like this amount of nutrients. You know, l let's say like it has one nutrient and a person needs like four a day. So he counted that like in New York City, despite killing thousands of chicken, that's not enough. With these guys, if we can farm those, that will be incredible. Kind of hard to farm, and they're like, they're not, they're not herbivores. These are predators. They like munch at your toes if you get too close, <laughs> or your throat. Well, you can feed them normal, regular chicken. You like go to a vending machine, you like input your like a regular chicken, <laughs> and you get space chicken out of it instead. Yes. So you farm those, and you know, like any animal that is like domesticated and farmed like when it was wild it had like a slightly or not even slight like a like a different shape like if you look at pictures of pigs before they were like pigs they were like wild boars they had like let's say uh, a big head small ass but now it's the reverse they have big ass and small heads like because you know you eat ass <laughs> You can do something like that with them. So, like, look at the skinny legs. Like, you want some good, thick legs. And uh, you just feed them. You feed them with chicken. They become fat uh, and lazy. You, um... you know, why do they fight? They fight because they want to eat and they want stuff. You just give them that. Feed them. You know, provide them with toys, with shiny things, chicken. They will get fat, lazy, and tasty. And boom, you have a farm of jackals. And uh, all of the problems you might have with food are solved. It's even better than flood, because I'm not really a fan of mushrooms, but I like chicken. By the end of the Halo 3, we will have the whole Covenant cookbook <laughs> with recipes <laughs> and stuff. A... What? Bad. Oh god, it looks dangerous. Like, you can just squish a person with your yeah. bare hands. A monster. Like, oh. increase the what grip a little. <laughs> <laughs> okay, how about a little experiment? So there is a scarab here that I imagine is going to shoot me. Will the shield save me? No. I'm just it, standing. Get it really interesting. Oh god. I need like a cool gun or <gasps> Oh yes. Yes, that's what I need. There's going to be some cool epic gamer moment soon. I got it. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. That's unlocked. Oh. It's like a dog who's cold. Now it's a dog, but in five pieces. Look at this brute back here. He just pissed on the floor. On like a metal or, I don't know, whatever floor. Yeah, and he's like enjoying himself, like, yeah, look at me. Look at this! Look at he look at this corridor! Like, look at this! They've used oh, yeah, it! More, more brute piss? Yes! <laughs> yeah! And, and here, th they were just like pissing in the doorway! Who does that? Like, piss oh, in the look, corner look, at least! Look back here! Oh no! Everywhere! Oh no! Gotta imagine the smell of like, countless numbers of like, brutes. Mmm. Yes. All taking turns. Yes. Yes. Drop me at this island. No. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> Physics didn't work there. This sort of like concept that the most advanced, or at least like one species in the universe, is 
Is there any origins of flood? Like, where did it come from? Well, because the ancient humanity fed the weird powder they found in some derelict <laughs> ship at the edge of the universe to their dogs, basically, yeah. Here's another story. This one is pretty nasty. We had a party, a bunch of people, and uh, the evening we say goodbye to each other and we stand next to a metro station. And uh, next to this metro station there is a, a mall. And in e every mall you have a McDonald's. Oh, I, I just looked around and I saw stairs. Uh, and on the stairs there was a cheeseburger. And I was like, oh look, a free cheeseburger. So one guy just came, took it and ate it. I wouldn't be so worried if it wasn't that it could be poisoned. Because like, if that's like a McDonald's cheeseburger, those things stay good forever. And they're probably like antibacterial somehow. Well, just from their creation he process. disappeared for like three days. Did, did it taste good? I guess. He, he finished it. <laughs> I, mean, I can take you to the scarabs. You wanna just take a ride? Yeah, let's go. Alright, go, 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 go. Oh, yeah. Coming from. Let's go. Take me, take me, take me, take me. I'm coming, I'm coming. Hurry, hurry, hurry. Okay, good enough. Oh. <laughs> ah! Oh, no. <laughs> no. <laughs> Alright, take it, take it. Yeah, take me, take me, take me. Quick! Thing isn't very oh, fast. Yes, yes, yes! Oh yeah, the teamwork. Oh, that war hard. No, is it fine? Well, it, it certainly Some has fun. fun. I wonder, you know, like in stupid anime titles, they have like a, a beach episode where they just chill and do nothing. <laughs> Like, imagine yeah. that in Halo. Chief would be naked, but in his helmet. Nah, Chief, Chief just ain't taking his armor off. He's, he's at the beach, like, scuba diving, but in his full armor. Also, these flat hats would be like a fun pet. <laughs> Come here, little floody. It's time to eat something. Yeah, yeah, with all the tentacles and stuff. It's kind of... It would be weird at first, but then you would like it, I think. They have a lot of explosives. I know. I can I can oh see God. all of the fuel rod just careening towards me. <laughs> I always Chief screamed like once at least. He's like calm at any situation. He's honestly probably not that calm. It's just the fact that he's not very vocal in doing anything. He never really has much to talk about. Well, uh, yeah, sure, but. You know, scream once in a while because you you're flying from space and everything is exploding, and a giant technical monster just attacked you. I mean, he's also a Spartan, so he's kind of like trained not not to like ever really fear anything, you know. Well, not not because of the fear, because it yeah, I don't know, just excitement. Oh. <laughs> you know, just, just, I don't think Chief gets excited. Like, oh fuck yeah, so many enemies, yes, give me more! If you, uh, if you look below us right now, you'll notice that, um, we're over a bottomless pit, the, uh, Nothing the center new. of the ring. And by bottomless, I mean bottomless, it's just space down below there. So it's safe to jump. I just wonder where all the flood juggernauts went. Imagine teaching them tricks. <laughs> come on, come on, sit down, sit down, do a spin. Throws them a piece of human. And you become a flood. He's so unsociable, because he just sees an imaginary woman, and his friend is asking him, like, where are you going, like, what do you see, and he's just quiet. I mean, I think, yeah, I mean, actually, that's basically what happens. <laughs> but he also did just see Cortana, and he's like, I gotta go find, I gotta go find Cortana, my girl. <laughs> 